Whether you're telling stories or using your sense of touch, you'll have fun playing these new games from Petite Collage. There are even more fun games to check out when you subscribe to this channel. Create your own stories with the Little Library Storytelling Box. You can play with one or more people and the props inside the box help inspire your stories. Kids can even write or draw their stories in the 10 mini books. There are different ways to start your stories. Take five coins from the bag and create a story about the pictures you see. All right, once upon a time, there was a diver, a submarine diver who um, went underwater and met a frog prince. And the frog prince said that he would introduce the diver to a queen, this old lady queen, who had magic powers, but in order to get the magic powers, um, they needed to go start a fire at night and the magic powers would be revealed. Or take one coin from the bag and use it to start a story. When you flip to the next page, draw another coin to continue the story. Another way is to draw nine coins from the bag and separate them into groups of three. Three to start the story, three to add to the middle, and three to end the story. If playing with the group, each player gets a turn taking a coin and adding to the group story. Our story begins with an explorer in the jungle. This explorer's name is Tom, and he's very scared of jungle animals. But what he found was surprising. What he found was an octopus that had made its way on land. It didn't know where it went, so all it had to do was just find a home. Or each player can choose a story theme, such as fairy tale or Halloween, and take five coins. But that player doesn't tell the story, the player next to them does. And the theme is Halloween. So, once upon a time, there was this kid. One, one time at Halloween, he got a diamond for Halloween. What's inside the Find My Favorite Things box? Items that you must find using only your sense of touch. This sensory matching game comes with 20 shaped game pieces that get placed inside the box. Close the box lid and give each player four cards. Players take turns reaching inside the box to find the items that match the shapes on their cards. If you think you found a match, remove the object from the box. If you're correct, place the piece on the matching picture card. If you're wrong, the item goes back into the box. The first player to match pieces to all four of their cards wins. That version of the game is for ages three to four, but the instructions do provide a more advanced version for ages five and up. Both of these games are easy to learn how to play. Which one do you think your family would like to play? Let me know in the comments. The pros for the Little Library Storytelling Box are it's easy to learn, it can be played in multiple ways, kids will like writing down their stories in the mini books, and its small size makes it great for creativity on the go. I don't have any cons, so I give it five stars. The pros for Find My Favorite Things are it's easy to learn, there are instructions for younger and older players, and you can add items from home to the box. I don't really have any cons for this one, so I give it four and a half stars. For more fun toy videos, follow us on TikTok at The Toy Authority.